ladies and gentlemen, fight fans all around the world, let's talk some boxing. So we're looking at world champions. And today we're going to look at the WBA super flyweight champion of the world, Kohai Kono. Kohai Kono won his championship just very, very recently against Denka Osan Kao Ichit. And um, Kohai Kono is from Japan. He's a guy in the black and white trunks. And Kao Ichit is in the red, yellow, and white trunks. White shoes. Now, both are just boxers. Both are orthodox boxers, as you can clearly see. And um, both generally fight from a range. Uh, Kao Ichit was actually doing quite well in this fight. Um, he was uh, roughing up. He looked like the stronger boxer, and um, Kohai Kono, who was undefeated coming into this fight um, for the WBA uh, Super Featherweight title, uh, he actually looked like he was kind of at times getting outboxed by the stronger looking uh, Kao Vichit. However, believe it or not, Kohai Kono. Uh, ended up knocking out Kalvichit in the eighth round, and uh, I'm just going to scroll a little further to that point so you can see. Uh, this is the end of the seventh. Let's go to the eighth round right here. So um, basically, not really big inside fighters. Both guys are outside fighters. Um, then Kalsan Kalvichit is looks like the stronger puncher of the two, but uh, in the eighth round, this is what happened. You'll see it in a minute. There it is, right there. Flush right hand on his face. And uh, Kalvichit did not get up in time. It seems as though his face was hurt by that punch. He could have probably fractured something in his eye. But the fight was over. And um, Kohai Kono won. Now, when we look at Kohai Kono's resume, um, he's had 39 fights, he's lost 8 fights. And he's won 30 fights, has 13 knockouts. He's not really a knockout artist, strangely, as you might have seen in that fight. Now, he strove to get the Super Flyweight title a number of different times. Um, he uh, went against Rojas to try and get the vacant WBC World Super Flyweight title. He lost a unanimous decision to him. He lost the WBA title to Nabuo Nashiro in 2008. And this guy's been around since 2000. And um, a number of times he has lost that opportunity. So when this opportunity came back up in uh, March of 2014, he uh, was fighting uh, Kalvichit. And Kalvichit seemed to have been winning on the scorecards. Um, you can see Kalvichit with one on uh, Stanley. Christodoulos scorecard at least um, it was drawn it was a very close match um, and you know um, Koi Kono scored that knockout it, he hit Kovacic in the right place and brought him down I think he probably fractured something in his face and, and that's that was the end of that match now it was for the vacant WBA Super Flyweight title um, then Kao Sun did go down in the fourth round as well. So, um, yeah. Kohai Kono is the WBA World Super Flyweight Champion. And these are the other champions he can face. Carlos Quadras, Nioa Inu, and Zolani Tet from the IBF. So he, he, he's, he's got his hands full if he wants to unify. He probably is going to just go against is mandatory, which probably is David Sanchez, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, he fought Noberto Jimenez, Tokyo, Japan, to a split decision draw, and probably is going to face his next mandatory. I don't think he's going to face those other guys or killers. So we'll, we'll see, though. We'll see what happens. But Koai Kono is the recent WBA Super Flyweight Champion of the World. You guys have a great day.